A local parish is under investigation. All activities at St. Boniface and James Parish in Ludlow, Kentucky are now suspended. And nine on your side, Jasmine Miner is live at the church where churchgoers say they are furious about this decision. Jasmine? Yeah, Tanya Craig, church members put this sign up warning others to bring their holiday donations elsewhere. Why? Because the diocese has canceled all activities here from masses to fundraisers and a spokesperson for the diocese says they're investigating this church for financial irregularities, but its actions have left many heartbroken. It's a small Catholic congregation in northern Kentucky where the faithful come to worship. Kim Buddy is a lifelong member of St. Boniface and James Church, attending nearly every Sunday since grade school. Now the church is under investigation by the Diocese of Covington. This makes me want to turn away from the Catholic Church. Kim says a visiting priest read a letter out loud during Sunday Mass, alerting members of some significant changes. He said this is the last Mass that's being said here. A spokesperson for the diocese tells me the church is not shutting down, but all activities, including Masses, are canceled for now. That news upset Sydney Chakare, another longtime member. It's sad. A lot of older people in this community that would like to be buried from the church they were baptized in, married in. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. I requested an interview from the diocese about the suspension of activities. A spokesperson tells me no one will talk on camera. So she sent me a statement that reads in part, quote, Several weeks ago, we discovered financial irregularities at Saints Boniface and James Church and are in the midst of an audit and investigation. It's just over money. That's exactly what it's over. It's over money. The diocese won't say specifically what money matters they're looking into or if any one is under investigation. A half dozen members tell me the diocese suspended the parish priest. I went inside the church Sunday and he wasn't there. I did run into a visiting priest. You wanted to speak with you, Father? You can't. You have to talk to someone else at the diocese. Some members are stunned their church can't serve its community right now, especially before Christmas. What happens if this doesn't get resolved? What happens to the church? Don't know. Church members say they're not sure if they'll stay home or try to find another parish come this Sunday. Now, the diocese says that while all activities are suspended here, the church still remains open. But coming up tonight at 6, I'm breaking down the money problems many church members say are at the heart of this investigation. So be sure to, to tune in tonight for that. I'm Ivan Ludlow, Jasmine Miner, 9 on your side. All right, Jasmine, we'll see you at 6 o'clock.